to, to, to the user uh, a very interactive and uh, very, I would say, frenetic um, action and gameplay feeling. So um, I, I think that was one of the, the main points that the developer wanted to achieve and to do that he needed to, to, to have really a, a stable and strong technology. Using physics engine with animation engine, what you can get, what developer can get is yeah. usually when you the, the uh, character get hit by uh, the bullets or some uh, punch or whatever, yeah. you have a dedicated animation. Mm -hmm. But using physics engine, physics engine characterizes how it hits or how the, the impact power or the, uh, the orientation or speed and so on. So that a character can have more realistic reaction, whether it hits from here or here or here, you know, every reaction will change. So that's what your or, or their character can get in the game. Mm -hmm. so that the real, real realism of the game will increase. And mm -hmm. also, our collision engine, the physics engine, is really fast and robust. So, uh, for, for example, for the shooting game. So, yes, we, we have actually um, uh, a lot of good, very good Korean customers as of now. Uh, it's true that we don't have an office here yet, but we are working with a lot of customers here. Um, and uh, we have some very good feedback, and, but the thing is that most of those titles are still in development and not announced yet. Uh, after that, uh, some other titles started to use uh, our technology to, to develop uh, online games yeah. here. Um, we, know, we cannot give you d details because it's still unannounced, but uh, um, our technology, Havokai, is used by NCSoft in a new title, mm -hmm. still in development. And, uh, we have also uh, th several other titles here using whether Havoc Physics or also Physics Plus yeah. Animation that should be announced, I believe, n next year. Next year? Uh, yes, yeah. yes, probably. Um, we understand that yeah. the market in Korea is uh, different. It's not the same market in, in, as in Japan or it's not the same market as in Europe or the US. But our, our technology um, is still, I mean, very um, strong and uh, all, m mainly um, Korean market is uh, using, I would say, PC-based games, and our technology. If you can, if you look at physics or animation, or more recently, uh, Havoc AI yeah. uh, fits very well for the MMO games. Mm -hmm. So we are quite confident that we can build uh, a more, uh, a better and better relationship yeah. with our Korean customers. Yeah. For those developers who perhaps don't have, uh, uh, let's say, a big budget or don't want to make a heavy use of uh, physics, or um, perhaps are considering but uh, are not able to, to make a, a decision yet. We have um, a free version uh, of Havoc, which is a, a binary only version of Havoc Physics and Havoc Animation, which can be downloaded by everyone uh, in Korea as well at uh, any time and can be used in a game for, uh, to develop uh, the game and uh, also to, to, to ship the, games, uh, the game moving forward. So um, this is another solution we are offering to, and that can be used, of course, by Korean developers. So that product for free. It's yeah. a, like for SDK. It's a binary version, but SDK and uh, full documented. Yeah. And also, there is a lot of demo and programming samples, so that uh, all the Korean uh, game developers can use uh, both physics engine and animation engine for free. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. First, like the the future direction is that the way we develop our product is always like customer driven oh. means that we don't decide no. right customer request we want this kind of function mm -hmm. or we want this bug to be fixed or the performance to get better as well. mm -hmm. right so uh, we uh, correct all the p uh, customers opinions and requests then we decide uh, which function or which way we want to develop so uh, fully customer driven and also we've been doing this especially the physics engine like more than 10 years so it's uh, uh, obviously the uh, top level physics solution in the worldwide in the gaming industry. So we want to maintain this position, always being the lead. Then having physics engine in the uh, bottom, then put the AI engine or animation engines and other our engines on top of it, then it maintain the whole product. So um, we'll be, I would say, uh more uh, and more visiting our customers here. Those who work already with us know that. Uh, but yes, that's uh, our plan moving forward. Absolutely, yes. We, we want to, to be very close to, to, to the Korean developer community.
and uh, so that's our plan. That's the reason why Nanako and I are here today. And uh, yes. Also, we need to learn the technology and the needs of the uh, uh, online yeah. gaming industry. So the Korean market is specialized for online games, especially right. So we want to learn that market and the technology needs as well. So we would like to share more information with the Korean customer more yes. and more. Thank, okay. you. <laughs> Thank you very much.